Let's take a quick look at uh, how you can uh, work with uh, music and uh, video files on this uh, on these uh, devices. Uh, for music on Android, you have a special application. It's called Music here. You get to scroll between all these uh, covers. So it looks quite nice. Just pick one and then play. Go back to home page. You have the widget here. You can easily pause the clip and you also have the widget here in the notification system go back you can then shuffle all clips and I'm not sure how you can adjust sound from the player itself but you can now go on home page and scroll easily between skip between tracks like this so quite nice while on the iPod you have this particular application doesn't look as nice as it does on, on Android still I believe it's a little bit more functional you get to adjust volume from here pretty easy just got to play clip the track skip track between tracks quite easily get to share to make new playlists and here are your playlists organized based on music podcast and a couple of other third party uh, customized playlists you can search content uh, sort content by artist by albums by composer and all this kind of stuff of course you can search between content plus you can easily buy content from itunes which is uh, not something you can on the android because there aren't uh, many official places where you can uh, buy uh, content for uh, for android honeycomb tablets right now still there are third party apps that will allow you to do this now, uh, dealing with clips, there is the gallery app on Android where uh, you get both movies and uh, pictures and camera shots. Here there are the movies you have here, a couple of movies. On this one you have videos app, which is only for video content. You will be able to play only MOV files on this one, however they will work quite okay, including 1080p MOV files, shouldn't be a problem. For instance, what we have here, we have two 720p MOV files. Let's go ahead and play one of them. You see that there's a pretty solid experience here. There's the same player as the one used for YouTube. You can easily surf and seek in the clip. Plays very nice. No problem here. And you can stretch the content. This is actually a problem. Uh, because the uh, iPad comes with a 4.3 expert ratio, you get this uh, big uh, black margins on top and on the bottom, you can stretch the content like this if you want or we're going to lose all the things that are on the side, so that's something I recommend uh, while on this device, you should be able to play the clips from here this is a 1080p MKV file uh, you can add MKV files and you can add 7... let's go back actually you can add uh, all kind of different types of files. We'll play AV files and pretty much all these types of files. I'm trying to find a 720p. So this is a 720p MOV file. Trying to to see how this one works. So it takes a little bit to load, and it's actually not working. It should uh, display thumbnails for this clip, but it's not really uh, working with these clips right now. So. I can go in file manager oh actually it did load eventually here it is but you can see it skips frames took a little bit of time to load and it skips frames and the uh, sound is uh, laggy so there are right now some problems with uh, with uh, HD playing capabilities of this particular tablet which is a pity because you have a good resolution and you should be able to play at least 720p content uh, fairly okay uh, also let's take a quick look at pictures you have the same application on android and a different application on the ipad so here is an application you have here you can search you can easily scroll between pictures you can see how nice it moves of course you can scroll like this as well it's pretty fast pretty nice and this one you have the pictures here as well just wait for them to load I'm not really sure why it takes that long it shouldn't take that long it should actually work 
a little bit better. And in the end, when they're going to load, you will be able to scroll between them. But this is not something that's happening right now. So I believe that we have to restart this one and give it another try. Okay, I restarted the device and now it's uh, it's working. This is how you you get to display uh, pictures on this on this device. You can see that pretty much same thing, but let's a little bit looks a little bit better on on Android. Let's go ahead and open a, a picture. You can easily scroll between pictures like this, and you can scroll between thumb. Should be able to scroll between thumbnails. Actually, you can't just have to select them. So interface is not as intuitive and as on this one, and definitely doesn't work as fast as on this one on the iPad in terms of of pictures. Okay. Let's also go ahead and give a quick look at the browser. Let's open a browser here on this one, and uh, let's go on our blog, which is tabletby.com. Let's load it. Open browser on this one as well. And here we are. Uh, you can see that both managed to load the, the site quite okay and you can easily scroll around and pinch to zoom and something like this. All these gestures work just fine. This browser however comes with uh, tabbing on the top part just like on the on the browser you get on your computer. So it's very easy to use. Just now go on another site and I'm going to pick honda.com. Going to show you something here. This uh, browser supports flash play uh, flash playing. Okay, let's go back. This one supports flash playing, however, this one doesn't. You can see that here should be a flash animation, or at least should. Let's see. In settings, its flash is enabled. Okay, it is enabled. Okay, so there is a flash animation here on uh, on this device. Well, on this one, there is a, only a still picture because it doesn't support flash. Of course, if you want to stream content from uh, inside uh, a post, oh, but by the way, this one comes with uh, tapping as well. However, the system is uh, not that simple to use. Just have to go on this particular icon, press this icon, go to the screen, and change between apps. It's way faster on this one because you can add new uh, a new tab like this and change between tabs like this, just like you do on your on your. Uh, computer browser like I said. Okay, let's go ahead now and try and run an in post clip on both of these. This one supports flash, so it will load. This is a YouTube clip. It will load the YouTube uh, default clip. You can have go ahead and press play and should start working pretty soon here. Not really sure why it's not working. This one it loads the HTML5 player. You can see hey, that this is it's faster. Scrolling is very fast as well. You can go full screen like this. Like this. With and just two fingers. Have to pinch to zoom and go push it. full screen. Press it like this. And you have here this uh, this locking mechanism. And uh, in order to know that the so it's a little bit different still this one has bugs as well not sure what really happened there should be able to go full screen and back let's go let's go ahead and try hi guys this is Michael tablet by mm -hmm. and we're here today with the asus ipad transformer first we're going to take a quick look at the device and uh, should be able to go full screen okay. like this and then so we're full screen to, to have, uh, this is back with details about and uh, the idea is that you, on this one you can't uh, uh, select uh, between video quality like you can on this one but still this one hasn't loaded not sure why but you can select between image qualities on this one uh, while uh, on this one you can't plus you can play all pretty much all the uh, content from pretty much store or everywhere while this one will only be able to play content uh, from sites that support uh, HTML uh, embedding like YouTube, Vimeo and a couple of others but not that many now let's uh, take a quick look at uh, uh, the markets for both these devices as well. You have Google Android market on this one and the iTunes App Store 
for the iPad of course. I'm not going to go over details of how they look, both are pretty easy to use and pretty intuitive. However, on the Android you have way less applications than you have on the, uh, on the iOS, for instance, let's search iPad and let's see, we get 85,000 applications and let's go and search Honeycomb on this one. And these are only the iPad apps here, iPad apps. And we search Honeycomb and we got only 200 results. So that doesn't mean there are 200 applications only for for uh, Honeycomb uh, devices. Uh, so that means Android devices with a bigger display. But in most cases, this pretty much summarizes how things go. You get way, way, way more applications on the iPad than you get on uh, an Android uh, Honeycomb tablet uh, right now. Of course, most of the good applications on the iPad uh, are uh, are paid. You have to pay for them. While on the Android, some very good applications are free, actually. Which so applications which are paid for Android uh, for iPad are free on the Android. However, there are uh, applications uh, that uh, there are in many domains there there are applications lacking for for Android devices. Uh, while on the iPad, you have a, a bigger number. To, of, uh, of apps to choose from. I believe this in time will change once uh, uh, Android uh, devices get more popular. But uh, right now, it's um, this is a, a very big problem: the lack of uh, dedicated applications for this particular uh, device. For, and actually, actually, this particular device for this particular OS for Android Honeycomb 3.0. Okay, so this is pretty much. All the things I wanted to show you about uh, these uh, two OS's, Android Honeycomb 3.0 and iOS for iPad. Uh, this is what you will have uh, on tablets in, uh, in the near future. As a wrap up, both these uh, OS's are pretty good right now, Honeycomb and iOS. Of course, Android has more customization options, uh, comes with uh, better uh, native uh, applications from Google, comes with a better browser allows uh, you to to use uh, multiple types of content, more types of music, more types of uh, audio content and videos. So, um, it's uh, overall a little more versatile than, uh, than iOS. iOS is a locked uh, OS that will only allow you to, to do uh, specific things. For most users this, uh, however, should be enough. Uh, experience, I believe it's uh, it's better on the iOS, especially for new user and uh, unexperienced. Uh, there is a steep learning curve on uh, on the uh, Google uh, on Google's Android Honeycomb. Once you get to you to find out how it works and how uh, all the apps work, it should be okay. But on the iPad, everything seems to, uh, a lot more easy, a lot more straightforward forward from the beginning. And this is probably why so many. Prefer the prefer the iPad right now, um, especially like uh, you saw, Honeycomb st is still uh, early and sometimes it cracks, sometimes it's, uh, the OS freezes, sometimes uh, applications are not working uh, as they should, and there's actually no uh, explanation why this happens. You have to restart the computer, do despite your tablet to restart your tablet, and maybe it will work uh, after that, or if not, restart it again. Maybe it will work after that eventually. Uh, plus uh, on uh, on iPad you got here uh, right now a lot more applications that you don't uh, for the for Honeycomb but this is not really the, the bigger problem that Android tablets uh, have right now but the fact that the OS is uh, inconsistent and uh, it's uh, this will bother the everyday uh, uh, buyer is looking for a tablet right now. Of course, in time, with um, more and more uh, devices coming with Honeycomb, the OS should uh, get refined, uh, more application will get in the store, and probably uh, Honeycomb tablets will become more popular than the iPad. But for now, as of, uh, as of we're shooting this clip in May 2011, uh, iOS and iPad is still the better choice for, I believe, 90% of the of the tablets enthusiasts out there or the people actually going for a tablet and sales uh, numbers actually prove this as well. Okay, I believe this is pretty much all with our comparison between the Honeycomb OS on the Motorola Zoom and the iOS on the Apple iPad 2. Uh, for more details, you should go on the site 
on tabletbuy.com where you have uh, a lot of information about tablets and uh, OS's for them plus uh, details on accessories and all kind of stuff uh, thank you very much that was my good